Welcome to a new edition of Two-Year-Olds in Training for the Harness Edge. I'm Harold Howe here with Bob Young at First Line Training Center. Bob, let's talk some two-year-olds here. We started out with Mystical Millie. This is a Mach 3 filly. It was bred by Keys and Stables. Uh, the mother, she's uh, a sister to $500,000 earners, and you picked up her for 17000 at the Canadian yearling sale. Yeah, it was a filly that I went to look at. I like the arts place on the bottom side, and... Uh... There's a mare, a uh, sister to the mare that Tim clemency has got that's raced some pretty good Ontario sired horses, so I went to look at her. Uh, she wasn't a big filly. She's a May 24th foal. Tell she was going to grow. Well, I've been in 37 with her. She just missed a week. I crowd a curb on her, but uh, I don't plan on starting her till August. She's yeah. growing quite a bit, so uh, good gated. Yeah. Nice, good attitude. Nice leggy filly. Yeah. A little full of herself this morning. Yeah, she's been off a week. Today's first day back in a week, but uh, yeah, she's fine. And uh, But growing a lot, so I'm not really worried about being there early. You ended up in Harrisburg and spent 45000 for Nuts and Bolts, which is a, he's went under the knife for gelding purposes. He had Art Major, and White Birch Farm actually bred him. They have a full sister to sell this year. But the interesting thing about this fellow is from a half-sister to Darlin's Delight, only made $3 million. And um, the dam, by the way, is owned by Century Spring Farms. What do we think at this stage? Uh, Century Spring Farms actually bought the mare at Harrisburg after I'd bought this colt. Um, I've had enough art majors to know that they're better geldings. So I gelded this colt in January when he came home from getting broke. He's very good gated. He's grown a lot. Um, we bought this colt to flip. Um, my partner and I, I've been telling them for years that people want to buy horses. And uh, so, uh, you know, we bought this colt. He's uh, uh, 45000 U.S., but he's got enough pedigree and everything that... Uh, um, we want to get him to the races. We don't care when. Uh, we just want to make sure he's good, prepared to race, and uh, hopefully maybe we can flip him because nowadays there's so such, such a shortage of horses that uh, it's easy to sell a horse. Right. I just wanted to touch base and stray from the two-year-old thing just on that. You don't have to be very smart to see real shortage of horses here in Ontario right now. New York purse money coming out of their ears, and the American buyers... Lots of dough to spend. I mean, we've all heard re stories recently of horses being sold at New York, and I think you've tapped into something there. Well, I, I you know, been trying to do it for a while and uh, trying to get the partners to do it, but they want to race horses, and I don't blame them. A lot of people want to race horses, but um, there's a market out there for having two year olds, or even a, if I don't race this horse till early next year at three. For some reason, I know if he comes out and does well, the phone will be ringing off the wall. So it's easy to sell a horse. And you believe in the theory that everybody figures they're better looking and smarter than you. Oh, exactly. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, as you say, there's horses leaving this province all the time for New York because the money's there, uh, whether it's Burke Stable, whoever. Um, I've had to do the same thing last year. They just offered me too much money for my horse, you know. And you look at the horses in New Yorkers now. Bruce Richardson sent his mare down. Guys are leaving here just because the money's so good in New York. And more people are going to do it, too. Yeah. All right, third one we've got here, Easy Rider, another gelding sports rider. 43000 of the Ford City sale. Breeder was John O'Brien and Court Michael. Um, Dan made 180000 This is the fourth foal. Where are we? Uh, she'd had two Peruvian Hanovers, and I can't even remember. And I thought, i got to go look at this colt because he's a sports writer. I actually trained the uh, sister to the mare. She was a nice, decent, middle-class mare here called Kick and Lass for a lady out of Ohio. And I thought, oh, I'm going to go look. And I just thought that there's no doubt that I'm hoping that sports writer can improve on the uh, uh, million-dollar cam was the other horse and two Peruvian Hanovers. That's, yeah. So I took a shot. Yeah. We'd like to play 30 for him. The way it is, if you want to buy a horse, you've got to pay 10 to 15 more. And that's not going to be different this fall? Not at all. Not at all. If you like a horse and you like, if you've got 30 to spend, you better be looking at horses that are going to cost, yeah. you think, 20 because that other horse is going to be 40, 45. It's just about like the real estate market. Exactly. Crazy. You just know, crazy, crazy, you know. So. Well, hopefully we'll do some good with these, Bob, and um, thanks very much, and good luck in the days ahead. Thank you very much, Harold. Harold Howe, Bob Young, two-year-olds in training. Welcome to a new edition of Two Year Olds in Training for the Harness Edge. I'm Harold Howe. And we're here in the first day of spring at the Jim Wellwood Training Center. And who do we find but Jim Wellwood? Welcome, Jim. Coincidence, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we got a couple two year olds you're into the winter with. These are both owned by your son, Jeff. Do you get to tack up the training bills a little bit when it's family? <laughs> 
Jeff keeps telling me I'm going to get what's coming to me. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start out with a homebred he kept called Princess Jewels. This is sports writer Philly. First fall of the dam. She made a bit of money, 176000 and And um, you said she little on the small side of the yearling stage and decided to keep her. Yeah, there wasn't much of a, of a decision there to make. Uh, she would have been... Very small for the sale. She probably would have brought maybe $8,000. So I asked Jeff how much he had invested in her, and I think at that point it was something like 28000 So it was a pretty simple decision to make. But uh, she's fine. She's trained along. We trained in 34 here the other day. And uh, she acts like she wants to be a race filly anyway. All right. Well, we've seen a few sports writers definitely make their stamp, and you just never know. Yeah, I, a lot of them are got the same quirks and about the same size. She looks like a typical sports writer, I think, to me. Okay, with her, you've got a little flasher one called Duchess Dolly. This is a shadow play filly. It came out of the Forest City sale that Tara Hills Farm um, bred and raised. Half sister to Katie's Jet, who made three and a quarter, I guess it was. Thoughts on her? I would be happy if she makes three and a quarter. But, uh, she's supposed to be a, a better filly than the other one. She was a $27,000 a yearling, as I remember. Uh, but really, she does look the part. She's a nice filly, a little more racy. Um, flashy, you notice her. Flashy, like a lot of the shadow play fillies are, as we said off camera earlier. But uh, I, I like her, and again, she's trained with the other filly. They've been in 234, so she's on schedule. All right, well, enjoy the rest of the spring. Hopefully it's going to be a little decent weather. So uh, all the best. Thank you very much. Harold Howe, Jim Wellwood, two-year-olds in training.